Welcome to High V Today with Tony Tone. We're live inside Muscatine High V on 2nd Avenue in Muscatine, streaming on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Now, here's Tony Tone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's High V Today for, what is it, Thursday, just like that, huh? As we're sitting here, it's, uh, it's good to be with you. Thursday, the 8th of August. And we're almost at the weekend, which is wonderful news. Uh, weather is going to cooperate for the next couple of days. There's a lot going on, and we're going to talk about something that's happening this Saturday in just a minute. I wanted to mention uh, right out of the gate, when you walk into the store today, we've got that little spindle rack on both entryways, and one of the flyers that we're going to put out today is fair food. So if you maybe didn't get enough, fair type food over the last, I don't know, eight weeks of fairs from local fairs to the Iowa State Fair, which is going on now. Um, this is some of the offerings that we're going to have inside the store. So check this out, like corn dogs and french fries and those cheese curds, which you can always get on the Market Grill Express menu. But yeah, just calling them out right there. Onion rings, uh, chili fries, fried pickles. Like, I don't know if you've had a fried pickle recently, but that's always a good idea. And then they're going to even be doing lemonade shakeups. So Hy-Vee goes to the fair. Pretty cool. Like, when was the last time you had a corn dog? Maybe you've had a lot because there's been so many fairs going on. Like, I wouldn't hold it against you. It makes total sense if you found yourself, again, at any of the fairs, uh, a good opportunity to uh, to relive it and grab uh, those cheese curds. I can't tell you. Those are the curds, again, from Ellsworth, Wisconsin. They're so good. And a fried pickle just sounds marvelous, doesn't it? So look for that here at the store and uh, enjoy yourself. All right, uh, I want to get to our guest who is making his second appearance on the show. I feel like Jason Wolf should be here more often because I've known Jason for several years now. It's good to see you. Good morning, Tony. Uh, Jason's representing the Illinois City Firemen's Festival in the Illinois City and Buffalo Prairie uh, Fire Department. And the big event, this huge annual festival, is this Saturday, August 10th. I, again, I, I think about when you were here last year, and it doesn't seem like, Jason, that it's been a year already, but here we go. And for the folks at home, I just hope that they understand that this is a lot of fun, and it is, it's maybe one of the most fun fundraisers out there. And, and if you look at it this way, maybe this is the first year you're going to go, you're supporting a fundraiser that literally can help save people's lives and homes, and you're putting out fires, Jason, is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's... This is our big fundraiser for yeah. the year. It's the big community event that we do. Um, it's uh, it's a lot of fun for us. We sure. love getting the community involved. Uh, we we do a lot of prep work for it. Oh my gosh! Uh, you know, we've been working on this for a couple weeks now, getting sure. everything ready, and and come Saturday morning we'll be ready. So. It's a lot of fun. There's the flyer right there. Perfect timing, Chad. Thank you, sir. So I kind of wanted the <laughs> walk through, and let's keep that on the screen. Sort of the. The schedule of events, if you'll have it, Jason. So 8 a.m., looking at a craft show and farmer's market. I feel like that's really grown over the last couple of years, Yeah, right? feel free to get here early. There's a lot of stuff to look at. Um, it's also a great opportunity to get a, a good spot picked out for the parade at 10 o'clock. Absolutely. Uh, that's, that's pretty important because yep. it's, it's, a, it's a big parade for a little town, and, mm -hmm. and there's a lot going on there first thing in the morning that you can take advantage of. So. That parade is honestly, and it's on my list, I have written down one of the area's largest parades, and it is. And the thing about it is we're not talking about like a 4th of July or a holiday weekend. I mean, this, it's this Saturday, August 10th, Illinois City Firemen's Festival. It's a huge parade. And it, 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 it takes a while. And candy and stuff. And the water always flies. It's the most parade announcer ever <laughs> in the history of parades. So just talk about that, because that's a lot of work. And... Um, but man, it really brings everybody out. Like it's, it's unbelievable. No, regardless of where you're at along the parade route, like you just look down and around, and there's just people everywhere. Like, yeah, we uh, we put a lot of a lot of time and effort mm -hmm. into the parade. Obviously, yeah. it's it's kind of the focal point of the morning. Sure. Um, we you know we, you mentioned uh, Augie, our parade announcer. He's been doing it for years the and years, best. and the guy just loves it. I mean, it's yeah. great having him over there. Uh, he's a great supporter of the community, and. Uh, yeah, uh, Ricky Hessler, who who kind of heads up our parade, uh, she does a great job with it every year, and she's been doing a lot of work here in the last couple of weeks. And yeah. uh, with the weather, I don't know if you've seen the weather or not, but it's promising to be another great parade again this year. It's, it's, it's going to be perfect. Yeah. Like there's been a couple Illinois City Firemen's Festivals where we've it's been a little toasty, yeah. right? 
this seems like with Saturday's weather, maybe touching around like 80 to 85 degrees. Yeah. It's, it's going to be excellent. It's not going to get much better than that. It's no. going to be a great day to come out and hang out with us. Yeah. Uh, whether it's the morning for the parade or the sure. afternoon, there's just a ton of stuff to do. And, and uh, we're looking forward to putting it on. And I'll tell you what, once the parade, and it times out really well. So you were looking at the schedule, and you can see that again on the Illinois City Buffalo Prairie Fire Department Facebook page. There's a Facebook event for the Illinois City Firemen's Festival, and it really flows well. So the parade will take about, like, every bit of an hour. Yeah. And then yeah. right around 11 a.m., everybody kind of migrates towards uh, these ridiculously good pork chops. Holy moly, I don't even know how many I had last year, but it was over two, I think. Um, and and then I, I'll be there playing tunes and having some fun games for the kids. And, and that's really something that you guys have focused on over the last several years is because you have this huge turnout for the parade, but you want people to be able to continue hanging out and having fun. And a lot of it is families, Jason. So you guys have done a really good job with the kid zone um, and having offerings for the parents to know that they can watch the parade, the kids can have a good time, and then you can turn around, grab something for lunch support again the illinois city firemen's festival and then the kids just go wild it's awesome. yeah there's a, a huge kid zone with mm -hmm. plenty to do we've got the the jumpy things yep. uh that you know the bounce houses uh there'll be a clown there again this year doing balloon animals uh you know there's cotton candy there's awesome. there's uh there's the uh kitty tractor pole which yes. is always a big hit if you, if you haven't done that that's right. always great um and then again, you'll be there playing music and doing, you know, some fun stuff there. And it's just, uh, it's fun. It's a lot of good food and hanging out and, and uh, being with the community. There's those uh, aforementioned pork chops. I don't know what the secret <laughs> seasoning is. I don't think I want to know. I never want to know the secret. I just know that that grill is rocking for several hours and you'll sell... How many hundred pork chops? We'll sell uh, probably about 1,200 pork chops oh throughout the day. Uh, we'll fire this thing up about 8 o'clock in the morning, and it'll be yeah. it'll be rocking all day long. So. You heard what Jason yeah. said, right? He said 1,200 pork chops, not like 200 or three. I was trying to guess in my head before you answered. I was like, he'll probably say like 500. No, 1,200. So do your part, and, and again, it's all, like, you're literally attending this event, and again, if, if you're just tuning in, Illinois City Firemen's Festival this Saturday, short drive from wherever you're at, certainly here in Muscatine, right across the pond. Jason, this day helps you buy equipment to be able to help people when they call 911 and they've got a fire or an emergency. I mean, I, I, I can't think of a better way for people to, to understand, like, their dollars are gonna stay with the department and help everybody have the equipment that they need the training that they need i mean it's, it's a big deal to make it uh, a success and a good turnout it is it's a big deal and uh we have a lot a lot of great sponsors sure. obviously from the illinois and iowa side mm -hmm. um that help us out every year um it's great having those that's great partnering with those guys um obviously hive being one of them and then uh yeah we use that money for trainings and equipment sure. um you know specifically some of the money that we used last year went towards a a training type facility that we actually added to our fire station that we're going to get to show off uh, Saturday afternoon awesome. as well and kind of do some demonstration stuff with that. So I was going to say, to that. so at two o'clock on the calendar of events for this Saturday, Illinois City Firemen's Festival, the firemen demonstration in years past, you've like literally set cars on fire and shown how you can put those out and maybe use the jaws of life. And if I'm getting any of these names wrong, let me know. But no, you're it's really fine. cool yeah. to see. Um, see everybody in action because again we're talking about a volunteer fire department right yep that's yeah. another part of this whole thing is that everybody that is involved with the illinois city buffalo prairie fire department they're they're volunteering their time and that's a yep. big deal yeah we try to switch it up every year show some different techniques some different sure. tools uh some different training opportunities that we do i mean it's a great opportunity for us to um even hold another training even with the public being there watching us supporting sure. us um, it's great. We have a lot of fun with it, and it's good to kind of showcase, you know, what that money goes towards and, and how you're helping the community. So. Uh, Three o'clock Veterans Memorial dedication. So that's exciting. Yeah, and that's this a is, big deal. This is going to be. It's really cool. It's it's obviously this year is going to be the year for it. Um, we've got a committee there in Illinois City that's been doing a lot of work on this Veterans Memorial, sure. and we're going to do the dedication mm -hmm. uh, this Saturday at three o'clock. It's awesome. it's you know it's probably one of the things I'm looking forward to the most. Um, it's a it's a really cool uh, monument and and dedication area for the veterans of the uh, of the community and the surrounding areas and um, it's going to be really neat. The ceremony is is shaping up really well. 
Um, we're going to have a colonel there from the arsenal that's wow, going to help us uh, dedicate it. And, uh, it, yeah, it's going to be really cool. So definitely be, hang out for that one. I, what's the population in Illinois City? Do you know off the top of your head? We've got just over 100 people okay. <laughs> uh, right there in town. So. 100 people is the, the day-to-day population. But you put yeah. on Illinois City Firemen's Festival, and, again, enough people come out to, to buy 1,200 pork chops. Right. <laughs> Whether the ratio yeah. is, like, four to one or whatever, I don't, right. it doesn't matter. A lot of people show up for this. And I hope, really, if we're talking to the person that maybe hasn't made it to the Illinois City Firemen's Festival, and, and you can this Saturday, I encourage you to do so because it's a day full of events. And then the evening, you always have great live music. We're looking at a picture from one of the pr- uh, past years when you had an ACDC cover band. This year you have Teaser, and live music starts at 7 o'clock. That's also nice because... You start the music at seven versus you know a lot of places will have bands they don't start till eight nine ten o'clock. Mm-hmm. This is this is great and it's a, a street dance, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's free to the public. Come awesome. out and hang out with us. It's, yeah. it's a great way to kind of wrap up the day, wrap up the weekend. Um, you know, it's a it's a BYOB event if sure. you're interested in that. Uh, bring your lawn chairs. Uh, it's a great way to kind of relax. Uh, eat another pork chop there for dinner <laughs> while you're there, and and uh, I guess we should kinda, point out that the pork chops are available starting at what 10, 10, 30, 10 uh, Yeah, 11. I can have one ready for you about nine o'clock in the morning if you well, really want to do a, I needed that a, early, a power Jason. breakfast pork chop, if you will. We can <laughs> nice protein can breakfast. Set you up for that. But yeah. then you have them available throughout the course of the evening, which is yeah, nice. yep, absolutely. Yeah, so this is awesome. Like I, I really enjoy this event. Um, I've participated with respects to being in the parade and then hanging out and last year was the first time that i really got to kind of set up shop and brought some fun games for the kids made a little bit of a mess but we picked it up i, I still like, remember the water balloon incident by so, the way so geez jason <laughs> all right so it wasn't my idea i think it was uh mrs wolf it might have been my wife's idea so, yeah i don't want to say that on tv but uh <laughs> poor jason got there were a lot of kids there there if were i said that yeah. there were like 30 kids I might be not saying enough. They all had a water balloon, and they just threw them at you. Yeah. So I'm sorry about that. It w- it's fine. It was fun. Great way for the kids to have fun. Uh, they really enjoyed it, which is all that matters. And I promise it won't happen this year because it won't be as hot. Yeah. I, it would almost be cruel. Why would you want to do that? I, right? I'm telling you, I'm not going to do it to you. <laughs> there was so much. Like, I've never seen as many water balloons as I did in Illinois. And it was just all at one time. It was great. It was like those bunch of balloons. They just kept filling them up. And I was like, what are we going to do with all those? And then poor Jason. It was very well executed. Nicely done, I had an idea for this year. What do you think about an egg toss? Where do you stand on a bunch of cracked eggs in the grass? Oh, I think it'll be fine. Cooking it. You know, as as dry as it is, they might just, (laughs) you know, cook up right there. Who knows? Yeah, no. Oh, it sounds great. Oh, a lot of fun. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Isabel Morales on Facebook says, 100 awesome people. Yeah, all the residents, the population of Illinois City, 100 people. They are awesome. And it is a super great little community. And there are so many people that I've personally gotten to know over the years. And uh, it's just great. You brought some tickets. What are we raffling? Uh, this we're doing, is always exciting. Yeah, we're doing another gun raffle this year. Okay. Uh, we've got a handgun cool. and, a, and a shotgun that we're raffling off. So Excellent. Those will be available, obviously, uh, all day Saturday, and we'll raffle those off Saturday night. Excellent. Um, you don't need to be there to win, but make sure you buy a ticket so you can get a chance. And I was going to say, there's a lot of opportunities for folks out there to get connected and, and get involved. And, of course, we want you to be there. We want you to come out for the parade because it's a really good time. Uh, but anytime you have a chance to win something again while supporting a good cause, it just makes sense to me. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Even better, everybody. So it's a Glock 19X military edition. That's cool. With night sights. Wow. And then a Winchester SX4 12 gauge uh, Mossy Oak Shadow Grass. Wow. And look at that. Tickets are 10 bucks each, three for 25 And again, it's all. It just, like, I, that's why I tell people, like, yeah, I'm going to buy two to three pork chops because it's helping a good cause like yeah however you justify it bring and and especially the amount of stuff for the family like that that kid zone that is a big deal i mean you know especially i I think about myself selfishly my kids are seven and four and then the baby and when you can have an event like that it has a great parade and then you turn around like i mentioned and you've got this great opportunity for the kids to have a good time and the parents can maybe grab something to eat and unwind um I'll just say this. I, it's an impressive amount of people, once that parade starts to end, that head towards the pork chop area and the kid zone area. The picnic tables very quickly fill up. Yes. And, and 
it's nice to see everybody get together and, and hang out. And again, I look at this parade, right? I mean, Chad, if you zoom in on that a little bit, like it just keeps on going. Just can't see the end of it from there, yeah. Right. It's and there's a lot of businesses represented and, and groups. And yeah, I just, I, I hope that you'll come out. And it always seems to start on time, which is impressive. Like most yep. parades don't start on time <laughs> ever <laughs> in the history of parades. So you guys really have it down. And Augie's commentary is something else. You're I just enjoyed, it, yeah. right. I just enjoyed listening to him. Like, I don't think I could ever do parade commentary. That guy just has like the stream of consciousness. He's just like, that's he was definitely his calling. Yeah. He right. loves, loves what he does. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you, because again, we're talking about helping out and keeping all the money for the Illinois City Buffalo Prairie Fire Department. I, I, you mentioned being able to add on a facility to do some training and demonstrations, which is great. I wondered if you had any examples recently of when somebody needed help. But I'm not looking for like specifics, like there was a barn on fire, but it, it happens more than people probably realize, right? Like not uh, if we polled everybody watching, when was the last time you called 911? Maybe it didn't happen that often or that recently. But when it does happen in the Illinois City Buffalo Prairie mm -hmm. area and you need that response, I mean, has there been a call like as in the last week or couple uh, weeks that you, you know, can think of? I mean, we were out last night. Look at uh, that. I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the things that, you know, you'd mentioned, you know, calling 911. It's one of those things that we hope you never have to do. But right. when you do, obviously... Um, We've got a great group of volunteers there in our community that, that step up to that challenge and uh, they want to help. That's why they're there. Yep. Uh, they, you know, we train for it. We, uh, we meet on it twice a month. There's, there's, we hold ourselves to high expectations to serving our community and keeping everybody safe. And, and uh, you know, when, when somebody needs us, we're going to be there for them. And, and uh, you know, we're always up to the challenge. There. I was hoping you were going to say, like, yeah, last week, no, last night. Last responding night, yeah. to a call again so when you think about what are you going to be doing on saturday maybe you can just make it for the parade and you grab something to eat uh, what however much time you can spend it's worth it because just last night the illinois city buffalo prairie fire department was out helping someone right yep. and that's yeah. that's yeah, important it's... to note and yep that's why we need to continue and, and this is one of those events what i love about the illinois city firemen's festival I don't, how many years has it been going on now like uh you know from, since before I was born, so wow. I'm gonna say you know 40 to 50 years now. This has been going on here in the community. You, you uh, can't look around and see too many examples of an event that's been that consistent and that well supported, <laughs> right? And and you definitely everybody involved with the planning have you you've tweaked things, you take suggestions, you've made it better, and that's so that it can continue to evolve, so that we're you know it continues for another 40 or 50 years, right? Yep. We try to add st new stuff yep. every year. Um, you know the 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 fire demonstration that we're going to do this year is, sure. is new. You know, so if you're, if you're around there at two o'clock uh, Saturday, that's something you're going to want to stick around for. Sure. We've got some neat stuff planned for that. Obviously, the veterans' uh, dedication big deal. this year is a big deal. Um, you know, this will be the really the only year for that, and obviously, you'll be able to come visit at any time. But mm -hmm. uh, the dedication ceremony is going to be really neat. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And that's. Uh, We've got a, a, a big tent reserved for it with a bunch of seats because we're expecting a lot of people. And, Good. And I think it's going to be a, a great turnout. The weather, you know, we couldn't ask for anything better as far as the forecast goes. And, uh, yeah, it's really going to be fun. We're looking forward to, to doing this. We do it every year. It's a lot of work for us. But it's a great way for us to get back to the community and a, and a great way for the community to kind of get back to us. And, and uh, yeah, we really enjoy it. Look at that. So that's exactly what Jason was just talking about. I mean... That, I, that's what everybody ha that's a I just I'm looking at that picture and I'm almost at a loss of words because we're looking at people that are vo volunteering their time to potentially save lives and go through all the trainings and in addition to their jobs and families again this is an, another job and another family yeah, yeah and I just see that and it's it's, are... it's a trip to see that because again when you make that 911 call you don't want to have to wait or worry you want to know that you're you're going to have someone responding to whatever the emergency is and that is awesome to these see. are these are pictures from a training that we did about two weeks ago um this is the uh, you know so a kind of a teaser to what we're going to be doing uh mm -hmm. saturday at two o'clock and um yeah we practice for it we um we train for it it's yeah. it's it's all part of the job, right? So. No, it's really encouraging, and uh, yeah, I, I can't stress enough. If you're watching, you know, whether you're watching this live or tonight or tomorrow, or even if you're 
checking this out on Saturday early morning. If you've still got time, Illinois City Firemen's Festival this Saturday, August 10th. So much fun to be had. Starting at 8, 8 o'clock in the morning, Craft Show Farmer's Market. Massive parade at 10. Delicious pork chops. Uh, Kid Zone from 11 to 2. Yours truly will be there 11 to 2. Fireman demonstration at 2 o'clock. 3 o'clock, that Veterans Memorial demonstration. 7 o'clock, live music from Teaser. An entire day packed to the gills. You can see, Chad, if you zoom in on the bottom, the sponsors, Jason touched on it. Again, so much good support. You can see the sponsors that have their logo represented. There's also a giant list underneath that. And that is awesome to see. And I, I feel like I'm seeing some people that maybe are on there for the first time. Another encouraging sign when you yeah. can reach yep. out and have We get a few new that. ones every year. Yeah. And we've got, obviously, a lot of the, the great ones that come back to us every year. Mm -hmm. uh, Moxie Solar, just a, a quick you know shout-out to them. They're a great sponsor for us in the last couple of years. Sure. Um, and, uh, you know, all the sponsors on here have really, really done a lot to help us out, and, and uh, we can't thank them enough. It's great, and it's a, a wonderful day for sure, and I'm looking forward to it personally, being involved. And even if I wasn't going to be there, I, I would be there regardless, right? Because I, I love a good parade and those pork chops, and everybody involved is just super nice. I mean, it's it's a just a great time. So I hope, again, if you're – please join us and look for me. I stick out like a sore thumb. I'm going to try and not – Throw water. I didn't throw any water balloons at you. Let the uh, record stay. Right. Yeah, I just did just... what your wife told me <laughs> to. So, and it we're was both fun. married, so we're smart it's, because yeah, our wives I, ask us to do something. We have to listen to them. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, that's the secret to success in a marriage. It's just when someone says, "All right, the kids are going to get a hundred water balloons or more," and Jason's going to get it. Like, Somebody's oh, got to get it. Okay. Right. As long as it's not me, because I got electrical equipment right over here. I'm going to hide. So none of that this year. All right. I promise. Unless you're hey, you know, yeah. unless there's like a hundred squirt guns. I, I don't know. I'm up to the challenge. If, if right. we're there having fun, we might as well have fun, right? We're going to be there all day. So he's like the nicest guy ever. Whatever we got to do. He right? took it in stride. There's the little kids that are going to do <laughs> I recognize some oh, of them. Oh, <laughs> it's a good lineup. Look at that. They look innocent, but listen, they all know how to throw a water balloon. All right, Jason Wolf, Illinois City, Buffalo Prairie, uh, the Illinois City Firemen's Festival. Boom, this Saturday, right there. Uh, really worth your time, and I hope you'll make it. Bring the family. It's awesome, and I look forward to seeing you and everybody on Saturday. Yeah, Thanks I look for forward to it, on Tony. The show. Yeah. You know, I, I don't even know, wait, maybe five years we've known each other now? It's crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, it's been a while, yeah. We've been been working on this for a while now and this is an awesome event we and love really, having you every year yeah oh i'm super excited to be there and i hope that you'll stop by and check it out all right uh we can go cbi bank and trust aisle camera and uh we'll see where this is set up today i kind of forgot already oh look at that looking at some uh some raspberry pie filling or topping yeah if you're making a, a pie and you don't want to go through the trouble of creating the filling for it We've got you covered. I, I want to tell you that August 8th, ladies and gents, a couple things to note if you follow this goofy stuff. It's frozen custard day, which is cool, right? Maybe you like frozen custard versus ice cream. That's fine. It's dollar day. You can find things for a dollar in this store. It's happiness happens day. And then, I think most importantly, and I hope that you all consider participating this, in this today, it's uh, National Sneak Some Zucchini Into Your Neighbor's Front Porch Day. So, listen, uh, you know, that it's a whole thing. You need to grab uh, some zucchini and then sneak it onto your neighbor's front porch. And when they are like, what are you doing? You can say, hey, listen, it's August 8th. I have to do this because it's National Se Sneak Some Zucchini Into Your Neighbor's Porch Day. Hopefully you say that, like, before they call 911 for trespassing. And I don't know if I can really encourage you to sneak a vegetable onto your neighbor's front porch, but, you know... If you're going to buy that zucchini, get it from the produce department. So we have the uh, Toyota Muscatine cart camera, and uh, we're going to look for some zucchini, y'all. I didn't even really give Steve a heads up as to where he might find it, but listen, you grab a zucchini. I'm not going to, you know, I know my neighbors, so I could do this and probably get away with it. Jim and Lorna would just be like, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I just thought you might want this zucchini. And I don't know if, I don't know <laughs> I don't know how much sneaking I can really do. Like I'm not, I'm not a small person to just kind of like tiptoe around, grab a zucchini, put it on their front porch, and then do you have to like ding dong ditch them or what? How are they going to know that it's there? Sounds like a great job for the kids. Yes. Send the kids. Out. The kids will be leaving zucchini. <laughs> That's 
like some weird, like, uh, it's like St. Nicholas Day. Put your shoes out the night before. St. Nicholas will put a zucchini in your shoe. So if you're going to participate in National Sneak Some Zucchini, it, now Delmer would probably be one that would be okay with that holiday. I could see him partaking in that. Stop by the produce department, grab some zucchini, and have fun messing with your neighbors. I feel like if you get along with your neighbors, this is something that they would maybe appreciate, right? Versus having an adverse reaction. All right, uh, I want to mention a couple of things um, before we wrap up. We mentioned at the start of the show the Hyvie Goes to the Fair flyer. So if you can't get enough corn dogs or chili fries or fried pickles, you have an opportunity to pretend you're at the fair. You walk into the store, grab a flyer, stop by the Market Grill Express. And from what I understand, these corn dogs are being like dipped by hand. So this isn't like a previously dipped corn dog. Like they've got the hot dog, they made they got the batter made up, they're gonna dip it and then fry it. So that's pretty cool. I like the idea of that not being like a, a uniformed corn dog. You know what I mean? Like it's it shouldn't look perfect if it's dipped by hand. And then those cheese curds are Ellsworth cheese curds from Wisconsin. Uh, onion rings you can't go wrong with. Chili fries, a little messy probably. You might have to fork and knife it. Fried pickles, not that messy, right? Pick it up, dip it, a little ranch action. You're good to go. Somebody said those look like chicken tenders. They're fried pickles, I promise you. Uh, and this will be going on until next Tuesday. And then the lemonade shake-up, right? Yeah, that's kind of a... a, a classic item that you find at a fair and they're going to be rocking that out so go see them uh, at the Market Grill Express. The crew will take care of you and get you all set up. If you are going to do some grilling at home throughout the course of the week or into the weekend and you want to talk about some seafood deals Captain John in the seafood department right near where we do the show has a lot of good opportunities for you to save with his uh, seafood sale. Again, this is another flyer. We got a lot of flyers that you can grab and then walk to the back of the store to these different departments and take advantage of these deals. So Captain John put this together and great opportunity to save from uh, the seafood twice baked potatoes. Those are good. The salmon burgers, uh, perfect on the grill, easy to cook, right? A Novo swordfish steak, another one of those items that just takes a couple minutes and it's perfect. Um, don't miss it. And then the jumbo grilling shrimp that are peeled and deveined. Couldn't be easier. They look excellent. $9.99 a pound. Easy breezy. Imitation crab cakes ready to go. And then Asian zing tuna skewers. All of the seafood stuff is, is really easy to prepare. And those deals are good through this Sunday. So don't miss out on that. What about a fuel saver flyer? So if you don't want to pay full price at the pump, you don't have to. And I believe this week's Fuel Saver Flyer is going to save you nearly a... I'm trying to remember, and we're going to show you in a second. I think it's like $1.76 off per gallon. Wow. So if you bought everything on that flyer, again, just started, you would save $1.76 off per gallon and a total savings of $35. That is excellent. So, Chad, if we zoom in a little, uh, you can see some great items from the meat department. Chicken nuggets, popcorn, chicken some tenders and uh, yeah that's excellent right so i've heard that those chicken nuggets are really good you got kids grandkids perfect opportunity to load up on that and then save at the pump you can't beat it and just savings all throughout the store uh can be found on there grab a flyer and don't miss out on your chance to save i'll see you on saturday brother Thank you, Jason Wolf. I can't wait for the Illinois City Fireman's Festival. It's going to be a good time, y'all. Uh, how about five cents off any mixed drink uh, in the Market Grill Express on your fuel saver? So we have a bar, and you get off work. You want to have a drink? Grab a mixed drink? We'll put five cents on your fuel saver. That's awesome. Bella Gioso mozzarella. Pearls, sliced logs, or balls. Ten-cent fuel saver on there. And, yeah, I mean, just really good opportunities. You can find it all right there. And the other side, just as good. Right? Look at this. It's awesome. Dollar seventy-six off per gallon. That is a lot of money. Crab Rangoon, gummy bears, some medicine if you got a headache or something. Top Care aspirin, right? Uh, it's awesome. Dollar seventy six is a real deal. Don't pay full price at the pump if you don't have to, and you can do it just like that. So we go from like one example of a fuel saver, and then inside the Discover Muscatine newspaper this week is the free after fuel flyer. So you you're gonna open up that paper. I had I have it up here somewhere, but we've got the digital copy. We'll just show it to you. So free after fuel is super cool because it's just essentially a lot of items with big fuel savers. And when you do the math 
and you times it by up to 20 gallons of gas, the item essentially becomes free. Now you'll pay for it at the register, but the fuel savings that you'll enjoy, it's, it's awesome. So there's a lot of good examples of uh, that fuel saver math in that paper. Uh, free after fuel, good through next Tuesday. Things like eggs, twice baked potatoes, shrimp skewers, angel food cake, Hy-Vee salad mix, guacamole, Hy-Vee shaved ham. Um, what about some soup and oyster crackers? Gotta love that. Chex mix, planters, cheese balls, Hy-Vee mustard, that's smart, vanilla, buzz water, Hy-Vee pie crust mix, croutons, and top care pain relief. It's awesome. So, Look at all those fuel savers, and you can kind of see how that math works out. Like, you know, you look at the, uh, I don't know, for example, how about the eggs? So Hy-Vee eggs, 99 cents. You get a five-cent fuel saver, five cents per gallon times 20 gallons of gas equals a dollar. All of a sudden, those eggs are free after fuel, everybody. And then on the other side of that, there's even more fuel savings. Like, it's ridiculous. People are going to have, like, five to six or more dollars on their fuel saver just from coming in the store. Beef kebabs, chicken kebabs, seasoned salmon portions, Hy-Vee Chinese, uh, egg rolls. I mean, look at this. This is great. And then even towards the bottom, you've got some opportunities with candy. And that battery fuel saver is just great, right? So think about that. And if you need AA batteries, like in my house, oh my gosh, do we go through a lot of batteries. It's absolutely ridiculous. So 25 cent fuel saver is a big deal on 48 AA batteries. I never want to be the house with the kids' toys that don't have batteries in them. So we have a drawer. Everybody's got that drawer in the kitchen. I don't want to say it's the junk drawer, but it's that drawer where you just kind of have the catch-all. And we have this like little container. I just saw it yesterday. Loaded with batteries. Can never have enough, whether it's the AA, AAA, yeah, you always need stuff like that, right? Okay, uh, let's see. What else do I want to mention? How about the, um, yeah, talking about the Market Grill Express. The app on your phone is super cool, right? It works on iPhone, Android device. You can order lunch or dinner and then walk into the store and pick it up and take it home if you want to. Or there's an option where we'll bring it out to your car. We have two parking spots right out front. So if you're a busy uh, person and you don't have time, uh, you know, to shop or whatever, if you don't want to cook, like, just let us do all the work for you. We're happy to do it for you. So appetizers entrees, the new salads, they all look good. New burgers. I mean, it's it's really great. That adult grilled cheese sandwich is fun. The app is free and easy to use. Check it out. Market Grill Express. A little bit of a reintroduction going on. Some really good deals. We redid the layout, so it looks good. And a couple more changes coming in there. So sort of a uh, uh, updated approach to the Market Grill Express. And yeah, the app is slick. I've used it. It works. And I hope that you'll do the same thing. And then speaking of smartphone apps, the uh, Isles Online, right? So hy Isles Online delivered some orders yesterday. Where did I go? I went, uh, delivered groceries to a house off of F70, off 38. And then I went uh, off of Mulberry and all the way down to Fruitland. So that was fun. Got to see some great hy customers that love shopping online. Had a guy yesterday in Fruitland. Might have been his first time using it. And he was like, I really like this service. And, uh, you know, it's always great to get out and about and see the folks that uh, that are enjoying high bee aisles online. I understand people that come into the store for the social aspect and you like doing it yourself. But if you're busy, you got the family, you got the job, you don't have a lot of time. This is worth downloading and just trying out, right? You can pick up your groceries. You spend 30 bucks or more, you pick it up boom that's easy um and then if you want it to be delivered like that's fine we totally get it like i said i did three deliveries yesterday in an hour somehow because <laughs> i went 38 to f70 back down to off mulberry to fruitland and i wasn't speeding so but wow that was a lot of fun to see again our great customers so that it was awesome it's always good to get out of the store and uh and hit the streets, if you will. So speaking of things to do and get out and about this weekend, I know there's a lot of options, right? There are so many different things going on in this community uh, and in the surrounding areas. The Illinois City Firemen's Festival is a great example of something that's happening. Just a very short drive. You know, I think about, you know, I'm in Muscatine. We're in Muscatine right now. I'll be going to Illinois City Saturday morning. 
I'm thankful that these guys let me show up, play some tunes, have some fun games for the kids. But it's really about supporting that fire department so that they are well equipped when people call 911. We just talked about that. Jason Wolf was here last night. They responded to a call. So that's how frequently that volunteer fire department is out and about taking care of people. So this is a good time. It is a lot of fun for the family, but at its core, it is a great fundraiser to help that department. And I'm happy to be involved in a small way for the last couple of years and, and look to continue to do this uh, for years to come. So, I, and there's something that I feel like, are you, Chad, are you able to pull up the Muscatine uh, Art Center Facebook page? Did they have something going on with like a Civil War reenactment? Somebody mentioned this on Facebook, and I feel like it's going on today. Again, we're sitting here, you can see on the screen right here, Thursday, August 8th, and I got tagged on Facebook in a post the other day, and I thought it was like a Civil War reenactment. I hope we didn't miss it, but I do think it was coming up today maybe. Let's see if it's on the, uh, the Muscatine Art Center Facebook page. And if it's not here, I can find it on my phone, but I just wanted to make sure that if we could mention this, we would. Hey, buddy, how you doing? So let's see, we're scrolling on the page right now. And let's see if it's a post. Maybe it'll be below this one. Again, I should reach out to Melanie and have her back on the show. Yep, they're celebrating National Happiness Happens. Recycled Masters is coming up. Let's keep scrolling. It'll be a picture of a guy and a gal like dressed in like Civil War clothing. I could have sworn. Oh, wow, that's super cool. Maybe. Is that it right there? There we go. This is it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So this is Muscatine in the Civil War, the letters of Daniel Parvin. This is going on today from 5.30 to 6.30, and you can see on the screen, but I'll read it to you. Adults and kids are invited to meet Muscatine Civil War soldier Daniel Parvin and his wife at the Muscatine Art Center. Costumed actors will portray the couple and read from Daniel Parvin's letter as the project grew out of a Civil War outreach program developed for middle school classrooms and funded by the State Historical Society of Iowa's Historic Research Development Program. These programs will be held in the Muscatine Art Center's music room. And as you can see, it's free and open to the public. And yeah, don't miss out on that. That's really cool. So look at that picture, right? So those guys are actors, costumed actors that are portraying Daniel Parvin. That's great. I, I didn't, I, I didn't even know that that was a thing until, like I said, it was on like Tuesday. Somebody tagged me in a Facebook post, and uh, maybe it was Monday. And I thought, okay, well, we got to mention that. So a lot going on. Was that Dave Bakke with snakes? Hold on a second. What was going on there? I'm getting distracted here. Animal days, snakes this Saturday. Oh, Dave Bakke bringing Chula and the other fun snakes from the Environmental Learning Center. That's 10 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. Slither along with some live snakes and make paper plate snake. Oh, that's good. So you don't really have to have a real snake. And you've seen me try and be brave with the, uh, the snakes on this show. People like watching people cook. They like watching people decorate cookies like we did yesterday with our friends from the bakery. You can literally see Jackie, Jody and Jackie, Jody and Jackie right over my shoulder. And the other thing they like is watching hosts squirm around live animals. And Michelle Burns, uh, well, our friend, will be back on the show with some, some friends. I don't know what she's going to bring, but she's coming up in a couple of weeks, and we'll, we'll see. I always like having that element of surprise, like, oh, it's a little tadpole, or it's a whatever, a salamander, and Tony's going to be brave. Uh, we were on a walk the other night and saw a giant frog jumping. And I almost thought, like, I would grab it, but then I thought if I was a frog, I wouldn't want some dude just grabbing me. Like, I'm not trying to get grabbed if I put myself in the frog's shoes. So I didn't grab the frog, but I just saw it kind of hopping along. So we'll see. You never know what's going to happen on this program, that's for sure, right? All right, so here's what I do know. We've got one more show for you tomorrow. You never know who's going to be popping up around the corner. Delmer, I was going to tell you, uh, don't be alarmed if someone, one of your neighbors, leaves some zucchini on your front porch. Because today, I know you knew this, today is National Sneak Some Zucchini Into Your Neighbor's Front Porch Day. So some. <laughs> <laughs> celebrate responsibly oh boy there's so many things i could say but i'm really taking the high road uh marvelous he's only marvelous over there and then a uh, shameless plug for the uh, the seasons magazine right so this is uh, i was bagging groceries yesterday up front which is like my favorite thing to do because i get to talk to customers and thank them you know people are coming here spending their hard-earned money it's awesome to take care of them 
And I had a couple people ask me if this was the new magazine and if it's free. And the answer is yes, 100%. The Seasons Magazine at the register, it's free. It's always got like some fun recipe ideas. There's good articles in there, you know, like mug. What is that? How about a whole grain berry muffin in a mug? That's kind of cool, right? So I'm learning as I'm flipping as well. So you can grab one of these when you walk inside the store and uh, check it out. I showed you this already, but this is super cool people that can like do really creative stuff carving into watermelon so grab the seasons magazine you i think y'all should get it in the mail if you don't get it in the mail um just know that it's here in the store and it's it's ready to go i love talking about aisles online check that out that's awesome so many people shopping online and by the way guess what's coming up really soon flu shot if i'm not mistaken and I'll confirm this, knock on wood, I think the flu shots have arrived as of today in the Hy-Vee Pharmacy. So don't forget, we're getting to that time of year. You're going to be getting the flu shot. Hy-Vee Pharmacy can get you in and out, no appointment necessary. You get the 20 cent fuel saver when you get the flu shot. And we also go to different businesses. So if you're connected to a business or organization and you want to have like a flu shot clinic, we're more than happy to show up and administrate all of the flu shots for you. And this is awesome because someone like me with my insurance, like flu shots covered, so I don't have to pay for it. And then I get the 20 cent fuel saver. So basically my company is, they're essentially paying me to get the flu shot. I got the flu shot on the show last year and we'll probably do that again this year. So just keep that in mind. That'll be coming up real soon. And you can check that out in the seasons magazine. Yeah. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Um, yeah. Hey, look at that fair food, right? Corn dogs. You get a corn dog from your Muscatine Hy-Vee. All right, thank you again to Jason Wolf, our guest this morning, coming on to talk about the 2019 Illinois City Firemen's Festival this Saturday in Illinois City. Fun starts at 8 a.m. with a craft show, Farmer's Market Parade at 10. I'll be there from 11 to 2. Kid Zone, Bounce Houses, Family Fun, Fireman Demonstration at 2 o'clock, that very cool Veterans Memorial Dedication at 3. And at 7 o'clock, it's live music from the band Teaser, Illinois City Firemen's Festival. Always a good time supporting a great cause. Thank you for watching Hy-Vee today. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks to CBI Bank and Trust for the aisle cam. Toyota Muscatine has the cart camera, which I love that perspective of the store. And team staffing. Tomorrow, Friday, we'll have the team staffing job board. They have openings. If you or someone you know is looking for a J-O-B, we can help get you to work, right? And I will say this. Those guys do a good job. They work hard. And that's what they're there for. So please feel free to reach out to them and let them take good care of you. Tomorrow on the show... We have Jimmy Kent and Brie Coolers talking about Kent Precision Food Group. Did you know that Kent Precision Food Group, part of the Kent family, uh, they have some products available in this store. Apparently, they've got one of these things. I don't even know what the name is, and I don't want to say it wrong, but they've got one of these things where you can make pickles yourself. Not pickles the hamster, like literally make pickles. It's like one of those instant, it might be called Mrs. Wages? I think that might be right. We'll learn more about it tomorrow. Uh, the Squinch or Squeezer is an electrolyte popsicle. So we're still in the summer. It's still warm, hot outside. Squinch or Squeezer electrolyte popsicle. You got kids? You got to check out the Squinch or Squeezer. So we'll get all the scoop tomorrow with Jimmy Kent and Brie Coolers who will be on this show. I think they're even going to have me demonstrate how you can make your own pickles. I've never done that before in my life. So I'm happy to do it. So tune in for that, and we hope you have a great rest of your day or a great evening. Thank you for watching. If you're on Channel 5, Musk Team Power and Water Channel 5 with Remax, Hy-Vee Today shows live at 8.30 and replays at 7.30 and 10.30 p.m. I am done talking. I have said enough, and I'm at a point where I can wrap the show up, y'all. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Come see us for everything that you need, of course, and uh, save with that fuel saver. So many ways to put money on the fuel saver. Don't miss out on it. And thanks to everybody that's been joining us on Facebook, like Lieutenant Greg Bach, Sue Ryan, Roman, Rita, Isabel, Destiny, Jen, Megan, just to name a few. Colleen, uh, we appreciate you chiming in and watching however you find this show. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for watching hy V Today with Tony Tone. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting wabbits. We'll do it again tomorrow with more local guests from in and around the Muscatine community. I'm trying to emote for the play that the right. alumni are putting on in Wilton yeah, you know, this Friday, Saturday. Questions, comments, know a great guest? Reach out to hy V Today with Tony Tone on Facebook or via email. hy V Today at gmail.com.